Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and in today's video we will be discussing on how we can filter Wiplo CMS items using Pinsuit attributes. So here today I have a setup where I have a couple of CMS items. These are nothing but some video content which is having title, then some reviews, title, some topics associated with the videos and there is description and there is creator name. So we have a couple of features here. So one feature is by we want to filter the videos on basis of the topics or categories. So if I'm clicking on digital, all the videos tagged with digital should be filtered here and it is multi-filter here. So it's kind of digital and engagement kind of thing like literacy you can filter it in that way also there is a search which is currently set in keyword search for the video title uh, there is creator name like creator name as well you can filter by typing those keywords as well as the topic let's say i'm typing digital so you can see all the digital topic related videos are coming up here. There is a clear filter button as well. On clicking on that, all the filter selection will be reset. There is a, a number popping up here, you can see. So these are nothing but the real time fitness item count, which is getting updated whenever we are filtering something or resetting. It's just showing the, the number of CMS item visible currently on the screen. Yeah. So, well, this is the setup for today uh, and we will see how we can achieve this. I have already done everything. I will just take you guys through each and every step of this, how I have implemented it. So, I have my page open here, a video library. I will just explain on how the setup is currently. So, I have the CMS collection here, which is video list. So there is a CMS collection from which it is pulling all the data. All these data are coming from CMS. This one. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is currently having a name of a title, of image or thumbnail associated with it, with things that we don't have to clear right now. Uh, there is description and there is a multi-reference image uh, filled here which is so we are pulling all the tags or you can say topics from this CMS. So there can be multiple topics or video can be associated with. So here I have tagged with digital engagement and leadership. So like that, we have a multi-reference as well. So we'll come back to the page. Here if you see, here is our collection list and uh, yeah. We'll use for today's filtering feature, we will use the things with attributes. So we will move to their website. If you want, I can uh, put this link in the description. You can access it there. So first of all, uh, so I am currently in the CMS filter like feature right now. So for step one, we need to add the script in the head of our page. So that I have already done. So this is my page come down here the script i have added this is for something else but yeah this is the script i have added so we are done with step one and then coming to step two implement in webflow applying attributes to the element so now we will apply the data attributes first one is the first one is in the list i want to filter the content of this collection list and collection list wrapper so this is nothing but saying that the the, the feature we want filtering on what uh, the, the the collection list we want to be filter we need to set up this data attribute there so either it can be a collection list or it can be collection list wrapper so the one we want to get filter we have to add it there so we need to copy this uh, data attribute name and this value so which i have already added i'll just quickly show you guys so this is a collection list element you can add it to wrapper as well if i'm scroll, scrolling down here you can see i have already added the data attribute name and the value so that is done now uh, we'll just close this one then we have to set up our filters so for the filter we need a uh, form block so i have added a form block 
if you can see all these filters these are nothing but coming from the collection the cms which is video topic so this is having all the video topics these are nothing but check boxes and the label is coming from check box label is coming from the tag name the topic name yeah this is the simple setup we need and i have kept all these inside a form block so form block and then form element then this filters so that's what we need for now and then for, for the filter to work we want this data attribute name and this value to add it to our form a form block element so i have already done that if you come down come down to form element and scroll down here to the custom attribute this is the name and this is the value i have already added okay that's done so we have set up our collection list and then we have added the attribute to our form filter as well then we need to add the field identifier what this does is this links our our filter to our to our item cms item so we want here is we want to link this let's say this text because this is matching uh, somehow with the topics right we want the videos to be get filter through the topics so we need to link these two field so how we will do that we will do that by adding a field identifier so the name will be this we need to add it two places one is to the filter ui which is the checkbox label like this checkbox label where that name is there right then we have to add to our text block or whatever text we want to get it filter like here it is a simple text uh, block right so we need to add this attribute to both of the these places and this identifier can be custom like you can add it relevant to your requirement so that's what i have done so if you come down here and here down you can see i have added a custom attribute a name is fs cms filter field then the value i have added is topic then the same you will find it here in the check this label as well uh, fs cms filter field then the value is topic so now our check box is linked to our video tag okay that's done we'll close this one so till now what feature we will get till now this will be working like on selection of the check box the filter will filter all the cms item on basis of the topics okay that's done now we will move to the search part like how we can set up this search the keyword search field here so for that we will scroll down here more attributes to use you can see here to have a search field we have to use a text input field as a ui filter element so that's what i have done i have added a added a text input field inside that form block itself and what we need to do is we need to add a custom uh, data attribute here which is fs cms filter field and then in place of the identifier we have to add the values let's say here it is countries states and cities the values uh, by which we want the cms item to be filtered let's say here i want it to be filtered by the title by the topic uh, name by the creator name so i have to add these as data attribute values as comma separated okay so that's what i have done here i have added comma separated to this input text uh, field topic then title then author now next thing we have to do is we have to give the same to our our cms item fields as well so here i have to add custom attribute as if a cms filter field then the value will be title then for the creator the same thing i need to do if a cms filter field and then the value is author and this one we had uh, previously added so this will be topic so three things we have linked to our search field you can see it here so uh, that what that will do is you know, when we are uh, let's uh, let me clear the filter when i am uh, typing winning which is associated with the video title it is filtering that 
let's say type of creator name emily so it is filtering the videos made by her and then let's type out digital it is filtering all the videos which are tagged with digital like associated with digital right yeah that's done now we will see how we can set up a clear filter it's pretty easy to set up we'll move uh, from here and then we will go to this clear filter so for that we just need a button like a element and then we need to add this data attribute custom data attribute and this value so i have just added a button element i have uh, changed the text to clear filter and the added a data attribute is fs cms filter element and the value will be clear and that's it that's that is it we have to do uh, for the clear filter to work so now you will be able to fill, uh, clear the filters which is applied it can be applied to everything like if we are typing and searching something then we will hit the clear filter it will clear that as well then we will check how we can get these values here for that i have used a text block and i have wrapped inside a span this one uh, for the same as items count i will use this feature here so what we need to do is we need to add a text text block and there we have to add this uh, custom data attribute name and this is the value so that's what i have done i have added specific to this span if you are coming down here i have added this results count and this data attribute name now all the setup this is the whole complete setup we need to do now we will thoroughly see the functionality so if i am clearing out all the filters if i am clicking on first feature is by selecting by filtering through the check boxes so if i am selecting through the video tag names you can see it is filtering engagement leadership so it is filtering correctly the count is getting updated there are 10 cards and it is showing currently 10 cards here if i am clicking the clear filter it is clearing out again the count is getting updated if i am searching let's say the title winning there is one single video with that it is filtering that let's clear it out let's type in a creator name emily so it is showing two of our videos like there are two emilys here so two videos are there i will clear that let type a topic digital let's see if it is filtering that or not yeah so it is filtering all the videos which are associated with digital tag so yeah we can clear it out so yeah this is a pretty good uh, setup of uh, like filtering feature setup and thanks to finsuite without even writing a single line of code we are able to achieve this kind of features and yeah please do uh, do let me know if you have any queries regarding this complete setup or anything or uh, if you have any queries just let me know in the comment section down below and if you want this uh, membership setup how i have done it you can let me know i will make a video on that as well Yeah, thank you so much for watching till now. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye.